Well, good morning, and it is good morning because it's Saturday, April 28th, and it's time for our meeting, and we're going to do it in the car this week. And the reason we're going to do it in the car this week is because I have out-of-town guests, and they knew I was going to my meeting, so they might just think I'm at my meeting still. And I can st still talk to you guys, and we can talk about the book because uh, I want to make sure I get this in. Uh, I need an extra meeting, and I don't mind sharing the meeting with you guys because I think that uh, this is what helps us through each week. But it's called Be Kind to Yourself. And let me tell you, I need to be kind to myself because I was not kind to myself this week. I went with a very negative attitude the whole week. I went with the attitude that eating three meals wasn't going to work. And I set myself up for failure. And guess what? It was a failure because I set myself up for it. I gained 0.9. Now my loss is down to 62.1. I was at 67.1 points lost. So I have gained five pounds for the month of April. Look at that, how bad that is. That is just so bad. Uh, the, the good thing about today's weigh-in is it's the last meeting in April. <laughs> I have May to be kind to myself because that's exactly what I'm going to do this month. I'm going to be kind to myself. And the quote that we had today was, once your mindset changes, Everything on the outside will change along with it. It's so true. If you have the wrong mindset, and I had the wrong mindset this week. I kept thinking, I'm, I'm going to eat three meals, but it's not going to work. And guess what? It didn't work because I, I, I didn't choose the right things to eat. I started off the week doing right, but then, I don't know. I just went, I went off the rails. I really did. I was not kind to myself. I need to be kind to myself. But it starts off, treat yourself like a treasured friend. It's just that simple. And yet it can be so hard to do. Uh, I would never talk to friends the way I talked to myself this week because I was my own worst enemy. I really was. Uh, Monique, a member in North Carolina, would set deadlines to lose a certain amount of weight and then feel horrible when the scale wasn't moving fast enough. How many of us have done that? I myself have done that. I've always picked a certain date that I was going to lose this much weight. And then when I didn't lose it by that weight, I got discouraged and I quit. Uh, I'm not quitting. I'm discouraged. I, I'll, I won't lie. I am discouraged. But I, I have no plans of quitting. I'm going to stop setting goals for myself. When I say that May is going to be a better month for me, it's not that I'm going to set a, get, a goal that I'm going to lose a certain amount of weight by the end of the month. I'm just setting the goal that May is going to turn my way of thinking away around uh, as Cindy Pope has told me, this is going to be the summer of Sandy. And my summer of Sandy starts today because uh, May 1st is on Tuesday. My next weigh-in will be on a, May, on a, on a day in May. And um, I'm just, I'm done. I'm just done. I'm, I'm done beating myself up. Uh, when the scale wasn't moving, she, she, she had a lot of guilt and shame. But she said she, if she was talking to a friend who had a similar goal, then they were talking with so much shame and guilt. She would say, why are you doing that? You need to stop doing that. And I tell you guys that all the time. Choose, if you have a bad meal, it's a bad meal. Go on to the next meal and just make better choices. Don't let the whole day become the ruin of you. Because um, I think I did that yesterday. I let yesterday become the ruin of me. And you need to point out your non-scale victories. Uh, if you can give yourself a sense of acceptance, understanding, and kindness, the same kind of things that you'd give to your friend, minus the judgment or criticism. Because, you know, a lot of times you have friends that do stuff and you really kind of judge them, but you really don't say anything. You kind of keep it to yourself. And you can't be very critical of your friends or you wouldn't have them. You know, like, you can kind of, like, if they ask for your opinion, you can give them an opinion, depending on who they are. Denise and I, my sister Denise and I, if you ask for my opinion or if I ask for her opinion, I have to brace ourselves. We, we brace ourselves because we know we're coming full force at you. But, you know, that's what you need. But you might have that friend that's, that's not what they need. They might ask you to say, well, how does this outfit look? But you know in your heart of hearts that they don't want you to say, oh, it looks like crap on you. So you got to just say, well, you know, it's not something I would have picked, but it's something I'm sure you like. You're kind of still out. You're still kind of telling them you don't like it, but you're, you know, like in a nicer way. Um, Denise and I are brutally honest, and uh, that's just who we are. Maybe that's what we need. I don't know. Um, so Monica recalled when she went shopping, she'd combed the clearance rack for simple basics to get by. Looking back, she th was thinking she wasn't deserving of nice clothes. Um, I think that's the same tr of me. I think that a lot of times I don't spend money on myself because I just don't think I'm deserving of it. I, I, 
I try to reward myself with, um, I was doing the, the watch bands before when I lost my 10 pounds. Uh, I've got all my watches, new watch bands. I got all new batteries in them. So that I have to find a new goal that's something just specifically for me. Uh, I still have a lot of my summer clothes. I have summer clothes that I haven't worn in years. I tried them on the other day and they fit. I got rid of my bigger clothes, which was a nice feeling. I like that. But um, I have to think of something. And I will. I'll think of something that's, that I deserve. That after I lose, because I got to get back into the 30s. Uh, I have to think of something that I'm going to get for myself once I get back in the 30s, which is only three pounds, I think. Three point, I shouldn't say only, but it's, no, it's 2.2. So it's even better. I only have to lose 2.2 to get back into the 30s, and I can do that. And uh, I'm going to reward myself with something. What can I reward myself with? I'm going to get a new baseball cap. Silly thing as it is, but um, I have so many baseball caps. I don't know if you notice, if you watch my daily vlog, when I go for a walk, I like to wear a different hat each day. I don't know why. It's just something that I do. But I think I'm going to get a, a new hat. I just, um, and I'm going to spend a little bit of money on it. I'm not going to get cheap off the clearance rack. I'm going to get a nice hat. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. It's something simple as that. It's just as simple as that. Um, you have to realize that you're, you're never going to be perfect. I always say that God only made one perfect child, and that was Jesus. And and I don't think that uh, anybody else can measure up completely to him. All right, I don't know where we were, but that was Jim. Um, they're, wait, they're up now waiting for breakfast for me. But anyway, um, so what you want to do is be kind to yourself, and, re and research shows that you're more likely to say that are going to keep you more positive about your body, more satisfied with your life, keep you less stressed, be physically active because it's fun rather than because you have to do it or you feel guilty about it. And something that can help you maintain your loss. There are so many shows out there that you can that watch that kind of give you inspiration. Um, not that I'll ever go on it, but I'd love to go on The Amazing Race. I'll never go on it, but I'm not physically fit to go on it. But this is like a thing I can, in my mind, think, you know what? You can get lose enough weight and you can get enough resilience around your body that you can go on The Amazing Race. Never going to happen, but in my mind, I can dream it. Um, what you want to do is be your own BFF. So imagine a, how a close friend feels about himself and is having a, a tough time. Now, write down what you would say to him or do to him, including your tone of voice. I know you're having a really hard time right now, and, and I know how hard it is to struggle. But uh, we can get through this together. Uh, if you ever feel like you're down in the dumps or you just feel like you're going to make a poor choice, call me. We'll go for a walk. We'll go for a bike ride. We'll even go window shopping. Just call me. Um, the second thing to do is think about what you feel bad about yourself and write what you typically do and say, including your tone of voice. Oh, my gosh. You went and you picked that again. You had a donut. You let the donut control your life. Why would you do that? You, don't, you know, you had that one time not even five minutes of pleasure and then you got all done eating and then what did you think oh my god I had a donut was it really worth it that's what I was telling myself this week when I had a donut is there a difference and if so why did you notice the first time I did I've never read these so this is kind of cute um I was nice when I was talking to the friend but I was mean when I was talking to myself and I why am I being mean to myself that's not that's not who you should be write down what changes you might Write down what might change if you treat yourself as a friend. Well, if I would have said to myself, you know, you had that donut, you really didn't want that donut, you really felt bad after you had that donut, did you really want the donut? That's how I should have talked to myself, but I didn't. And the next time you're feeling bad, treat yourself like a friend and see what happens. That's what you need to do. You have to remember, you know what, the only person that's with you, and you know I hate this expression 24-7, but the only person you're with 24-7 is yourself. And there have been many a time I've tried to get away from myself. And you know what? No matter where I go, there I am. <laughs> so it's just, you can't, you can't get away from yourself. And so you have to know that you have to like yourself. I like who I am. I like who, I've be, who I am becoming. I've always liked who I've been. But I know I can be a better version of myself. And that's my goal. I'm going to be a better version of myself. So the Think Again page tells us, the unhelpful thought is, I can't believe I slept through my dance class this morning. I've ruined all my progress. But the helpful thought is, if this happened to my friend, I wouldn't think she ruined her progress. I think she must have just been really tired. So I'll try to go to bed earlier the next time and get to class the next day instead. 
the unhelpful thought is, this week has been so busy I had trouble staying within my budget. I failed. But the helpful thought is, I did struggle to stay within my budget, but I had a lot going on. That doesn't mean I failed. It happens to everyone from time to time. I'll make a plan to get back on track. Because what you got to do is remember, you got to be kind to yourself. You got to be kind to yourself. And I just find this so ironic. I live in Michigan, and there's so many states that the uh, romaine lettuce is being recalled. And this is the spring chicken salad with creamy dill dressing. Let's give you the recipe there. <laughs> but you, you're supposed to use romaine lettuce. <laughs> They've told us throw all your romaine lettuce away. But you can use other lettuce, obviously. There's other. There's a way, 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 way a lot of... But that doesn't make any sense. There's a lot of choices in lettuce, and it doesn't have to necessarily be romaine. And um, But anyway, you got to remember to be kind to yourself. I am going to be kind to myself this week. I am going to do better this week, and I'm not going to be so hard on myself. I'm going to treat myself as a, as a really good friend. And I have to remember that once my mind changes, everything on the outside will change along with it. And I have to stop trying to fix myself. I'm fine the way I am. I just have to know I make better choices and stop beating myself up. That's what I need to do. I need to stop beating myself up. So I will see you guys next week. I definitely will have a loss next week. It may not be a lot, but I'm definitely going to have a loss. And uh, follow my daily vlog and see how I'm doing this week because um, I have every intention of doing better this week. And I know I'm going to do it. So uh, like this video. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Um, comments. Let me know what you do to tip, to treat yourself to uh, when you've lost a certain amount of weight or how you make yourself feel better. Give me some suggestions. I really do need some. And um, share if you think it'll help somebody. And I will see you guys next week. If not, on my daily vlog.